Hey, what's up guys? This is Scott here from Icon. We're out here today to talk a little bit about the CDC valve, how it works, how to use it, and how to set up your shocks to work as good as they can for any situation. The CDC valve, or compression damping control valve, is a 10-way adjustable valve that controls the damping force on the compression stroke of the shock. As the shock compresses, oil flows from the main body into the reservoir through the CDC valve, which uses a bleed barrel to control the rate of flow into the reservoir. Besides the bleed barrel, inside the CDC valve there is a secondary piston with valving much like the main piston in the shock. When you run a stiffer setting on the bleed barrel, it forces more of the oil through that secondary piston, which increases damping force. And when you run a softer setting on the barrel, it allows more oil to bleed around that piston, which nets less damping force. The valve offers 10 high resolution settings, each with a solid detent, so it's easy to know what setting you've selected. This is really convenient when the truck is really dirty, covered in mud, or you just don't feel like climbing underneath it to make the adjustment. You just reach in, count the clicks by hand, get back in the truck and go. Turning the knob clockwise will give you a harder setting, and turning it counterclockwise will give you a softer setting. The setting that you've chosen is indicated by the number that lines up with the pin in the CDC housing. When choosing your ideal CDC setting, there's all sorts of different factors that come into play. Everything from terrain type, vehicle load, your preferred driving style, are all gonna have a factor on the setting that would be best for your current situation. For instance, on paved roads, a softer setting may give you a smoother ride, but on a winding road where you would like better handling with less body roll, a harder setting may work a lot better. The overall weight of the vehicle will have a big impact on what setting you should choose as well. For example, a stock weight or lightweight overall vehicle would probably ride a lot smoother on a softer setting. However, when you load it down with a trailer or a bunch of cargo, a firmer setting may work a lot better to control that weight. The setting you choose for off-road use will depend on your driving style and the terrain. Slower and milder trails will usually be smoother when you use a softer setting on the valve. When you want to drive more aggressively over rough terrain, a harder setting will usually work much better. When making these adjustments, it's completely okay to have different settings on the front and rear, but it's generally best to keep the same setting from side to side to avoid upsetting the balance of the vehicle. These recommendations are really more just general guidelines. The ideal CDC setting is really gonna come down to personal preference. Your individual driving style, vehicle setup, and of course the terrain type are all factors that should be considered when making your selection. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. And of course, if you found this video helpful, make sure you click like and subscribe and feel free to suggest any future videos in the comments below.